um, going on, y'all? So, uh, me and my wife, we just got done watching um, Vanity Fair Confidential. Uh, this was a um, this was a this was a special that um, where they were talking about Dylan Roof and the in the uh, Garden City, uh, Kansas uh, incident, and they uh, they got into uh, speaking on some things that um, that I didn't hear about in the initial. Um, um, news um, castings concerning Dylan Roof. This dude this dude he um, he was actually the personification of the entire white community. He he was the he was the perfect example of what I mean when when I say that we cannot we cannot trust white people. I based I based this sentiment off of one fact. His black friend. His black friend. Do you know how stupid that that black friend must have felt after he has told so many interviewers that He's not racist. Everybody that's thinking that he's racist is wrong. Um, uh, people don't know him, you know, and he's just he's just taking up for Dylan. And it comes out that this fool actually had an entire fucking manifesto. Dylan Roof had wrote had written a five page manifesto con- concerning not just black people not just black people but every minority group um every minority group and their um either how they benefit the white race or how they are non-beneficial and a nuisance to the to the white race. Uh I'm actually gonna do a video where I um where I speak only about the manifesto. I'm gonna read I'm gonna read that manifesto you know, so you, you guys, um, you know, can, can know what's going, what's going on, you know, what, what was on Dylan Roof's mind. This is what I wanted to touch on. All of you white people, all of you undercover racist white supremacists, all, all white people aren't bad. Okay. But there are those Undercovers who are no different than those who are um, out in the open concerning how they feel towards African Americans. But you can't you can't always use as an argument you're not racist because you have black friends. It has been proven now. Modern day, this this generation, this time in society, 
that a white person can be racist and have a black friend. This, this is the idiot. This is the clueless, this is the clueless idiot that was Dylan Roof's friend. He didn't have a clue what was going on and what makes him an idiot is that he defended this white racist, um, this white racist supremacist, okay? <laughs> it just it just can't be done, man. You can't you can't prove you can't prove to anybody that that you are not racist. I mean, unless you really pull off some John Brown type shit. In case you don't know who John Brown is, I suggest you type into Google and you put John Brown abolitionist. Okay. There were some white people that actually helped black people during, you know, slavery and afterwards. There were some, you know, but my entire argument is where are those white people now? There aren't any white abolitionists anymore. Dylan Roof is the is the perfect example of why we as black people should not trust white people. He is the perfect example of why I cannot trust white people. It's, 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 it's always going to be the thought of when is, when is this person going to snap? How do they really feel about white people? One thing, one thing that Dylan Roof stated in the um, in the manifesto. Um, no, no, no. This wasn't in the manifesto. This was in his interrogation. They asked him, did he think that um, did he think that the white race was the dominant race? And he said that he didn't think that the white race was the dominant, but they should be the dominant or they can be the dominant um and he went on to say that he 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 wasn't he wasn't a racist uh something to that effect but he always knew that race racism existed something to that effect His, his entire position was to make sure that white people achieved some type of it, um, some type of advance, um, some type of, um, elevation in society by killing blacks. He is not the only white person with that mindset. Matter of fact, I think, uh, Vanity Fair um, I think that there that that is the point that they tried to prove or that they did prove when they uh, when they mentioned the um, when they mentioned the three guys in. Um, I, f I forgot the name of the, uh, the town just now. Uh, Garden City, Garden City, Kansas. You know that you know that that's the point that they were trying to prove, or that they did prove when they mentioned those three white guys who um, who tried to kill all the Muslims. You know that were in Garden City, uh, Kansas, but um, Dylan Roof is not the only one who thinks that way, and those three guys aren't the only ones either. We are we are seeing the KKK in their in their rallies. And their parades, and um, you know they're they're coming out of the woodworks now. You know, and and when when white people say that uh, that the KKK is 
just like the uh, Black Panther Party. You you have to you have to prove that claim. You have to prove that claim. And there's no way that you could prove that the Black Panther Party is the same as the KKK. The the entire black the the whole purpose of the Black Panther Party is a defense group. For you to hate the Black Panther Party is is just is 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 just like you saying you shouldn't defend yourself from the person who's oppressing you. That's the entire purpose of the Black Panther Party is to protect the the black community from the oppressor. That is the entire purpose of the Black Panther Party. It will bring awareness to the black community that white racism does exist and who their enemies are. That's the entire purpose of the Black Panther Party. Now, what is the purpose of the of the uh, Ku Klux Klan to send us back to Africa to uh, to kill us off one by one so that they could advance in society as the dominant race based on number you see that's um, you know it's not the same thing. White, white, the white community does not need protection from. Um, from a matter of fact, we can't even get to the white people. Not the ones that, not the ones that actually matter. You know, and when I say that, I speak on the the, uh, the turns of chess. There are some white people that are in the community with us as um as pawns you know to be taken out use this bait you know um things like that they have no uh they have no real significance but to um uh to be a burden to the um to the black community. And when I say burden, what I mean is is that they could they could live with us but when it's when it's actually time to uh to make moves to spark controversy, they could they could be afforded uh they can be afforded privilege at any time. You know, they're used as you know they they are used in certain situations to to make black people have the thought that oh they only did him like this because he he's white you know uh, uh they only did uh them like that because they're white they he only got this promotion because he's white he only got off on this uh murder because he's white you see, so that's how they become a burden. They become a burden because we now have to deal with racism when the privilege is provided, you know, or if the privilege is ever provided, you know, but other ones the who don't get that privilege, others who don't get that privilege. They are um, they are the ones who are uh, meant to, in some type of way, uh, give the illusion of unity. Okay, that that whites and blacks receive the same um, receive the same uh, punishments. That's just like with the uh, the couple that got sentenced to um to like 30 years in prison for um for um for uh having the flags and you know at the uh at the at the little kid's birthday party a lot of people think that they're going to serve their entire sentence 
but the whole purpose, the whole reason that they were given that amount of time, if anybody knows anything about prison, not even black people have to serve their entire sentence. You think that this white couple, no matter if you think that they're uh, uh, Hispanic or whatever, they still had Confederate flags representing their um, their national uh, another person's nationality, but it is actually theirs. Okay, um, but they're not going to serve their entire sentence. Okay, but uh, all of this ties in. All of this ties in that the 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 uh the 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 whole point that we cannot trust we cannot trust white people we cannot there are too many white people that is doing shit and and they're not getting checked by their own people but when black people do things we got we got the Thomas Sotomayor's of the of the uh internet who are quick to try and check their own people the black people you see where are the white thomas out of my yours that is getting on these white people they don't exist and if they do exist i would like to see them <laughs>